Hey you. You there. That's right. You watching this video. I'm talking to you. So let me have a discussion with you real quick, bro. Let me let me, let me talk about what you're going through right now. Come here, come talk to me. Hey yo, Tanek, man. Call of Duty ain't been the same for a long time, man. Call of Duty 4 was the best Call of Duty, man. They need to remake that on next gen, man. They need to they need to remake Modern Warfare 2, man. And Black Ops 1, man. I'm tired of all this EXO shit. I'm tired of all this advanced warfare future stuff. And I, I can't take it, man. I can't take Whoa, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Calm 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 down. It's gonna be alright, man. You you about to have a stroke, man, because you're going so crazy, man. You good? Yeah, man, I'm good. I just I, I can't take this future stuff, man. These laser guns, man. These robots, man. Oh, calm. Calm down, brother. Calm, 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 calm down. I, I got the solution for you, man. This is it. What is this, man? There's a robot on this damn screen, man. Nah, dude, he's not He's not a robot, man. He's a person with a crazy helmet. And, yeah, he's got cybernetic arms, man. But his arms got ripped off by a robot, man. You know what I'm saying? There's robots in this game, man. So, relax, bro. Relax, 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 relax. Shh, shh, shh. The neck is here to make it all better, man. Calm down, calm down, calm down, son. Here, let's let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go look at that. Man, show me that multiplayer right now, man. I bet you, motherfuckers is exo jumping and, and cross spinning and blah blah. blah. Calm, calm down, man. Calm. This ain't sledgehammer right here. We're talking about, man. Calm. Shh, 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 shh. man. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. It's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go. Come on. We gonna go. We gonna go touch some multiplayer. All right. Yeah, man. Multiplayer. Is that Nuketown? Yeah, man. Hold on. Nuketown, like Black Ops Nuketown. Yeah, man. Like, I don't. I don't understand, man. What you, what you mean you don't understand, bro? It's it's Nuketown, bro. Is that dude like customizable, man? He's he's. It, it look graphics are yeah man yeah 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 bro relax re re relax I got you man come come here come here come on let's let's go into a, let's let's go to a game I mean can I, can I just move around so far yeah 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 the game starting in seven seconds bro all right man all right yeah yeah man just it it, it, it actually looks kind of good man it looks like it may not be it, it's not man. <laughs> Daddy's here. Let, let, let Daddy take care of everything. Let Daddy take care of everything. In Vondahar we trust, baby. Say it with me. In Vondahar we trust. Yeah. In Vondahar we trust. Alright? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Shh. Gamers and Game Mets, what is going on? Tonight 127 here, bringing you guys a really cool episode and surprisingly for this episode I'm not um yeah for this video sorry I am not playing any multiplayer actually I am simply going to walk around the map and talk to you and what I'm going to talk to you about today is Call of Duty Black Ops 3 this is the breakdown this is the should you buy it this is is this game any good and mind you keep in mind I have said in multiple versions of my videos my favorite call of duties are call of duty 4 and black ops 1 the most common ones you hear to this day that's because they're slower placed real fps tactical type games now this is my next favorite one out of those that means i don't like ghosts more than this that means i don't like i don't even like modern warfare 2 more than this you hear me yeah i said it modern warfare 2 I don't like Modern Warfare 2 more than I like Black Ops 3. Now, the thing when people saw Advanced Warfare, the whole gripe was straight up. Finally, something new. The exosuits aren't going to be that bad. It's Call of Duty with a double jump, blah, 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 blah. We didn't know the extent of that double jump and power and everything until we played it. I think which is another good reason Treyarch released the beta because the beta was more so I didn't see the beta as a test I saw it more so as hey guys just try the game our abilities we're adding aren't that bad and the whole world saw that even even the pro players and big youtubers are trying to tell you guys for the longest time it's just like classic COD it is here is the only thing 
That concerns people. Are you ready? You see this wall? That's really not even that high. This is what you guys are afraid of. That's it. The thrust jump. You see this bus right here? Again, a bus that my character is already half the height of. So let's say my character is 6 feet tall. That means this bus is 12 feet tall. Full thrust. I barely come to the top of that 12 foot bus. That means my character barely jumped 10 feet. 10 feet. You guys see these nuke town houses which aren't even that big? You can't even jump into the window. You have to boost up and climb over the ledge. This car, can I jump on, on top of it? Of course. The bus, can I get on that? No. Here, I'll give you another example. Is the movement crazy enough where I can get onto the rooftop of that house? No. You can't. It's about chaining movements. It's not about height. It's not about, you know, how high you can get. Now, this was Advanced Warfare. You could exo jump to the top of this house in one shot. Look, I'm, e I'm even on the ledge of the porch. Okay? There's no crazy rooftop warfare. You can't get up there. Look. 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 See? They even prevented people from getting off on top of the buses. So, you know, it's not rooftop camp fair all day. Now, the futuristic look is <laughs> here, obviously, you know, there's an iRobot lining up in the bus. I mean, shit looks like Jetsons. <laughs> Come on. Yes. But, it's classic Call of Duty. This is an, God bless his heart, Cast 1187 broke it down to me the best. Black Ops 3 is nothing but Black Ops 1 with Marathon Pro 24-7 and Enhanced Movement. That's all it is. Look, I got pretty high up there, but hey, guess what? I'm still not on the rooftop. Alright. So the game... Black Ops 3 is basically... a lot what people ask for and is doing what we thought Advanced Warfare was going to do. Advanced Warfare we thought was going to be something new and innovative. It was new, it was fresh, it was a really good look and fresh feeling for Call of Duty at first. But the reason it got stale really fast is because once people were able to utilize the thrust to jump, the um, yeah, exosuits and everything to their ability, the really talented, you know, crazy leap shotting people, you know, took advantage of it. And Advanced Warfare isn't a difficult game to get good at. Like, you turn, turn your sensitivity up to maximum, adapt to that feeling, grab yourself a sniper rifle, put an iron sight on it, you will be a king in advanced warfare. That's not the case in this game. Now just so you guys don't get all in fear of that futuristic look, I'm going to take you to a few other places. Just so you guys know, it's gritty Black Ops gameplay. Let's change the map up, shall we? You have Aquarium, which is an old beat up uh, aquarium is was like a little sea world place with water you got breach which is an old abandoned town you got combine looks like some type of facility evac old abandoned quarantine area exodus another old abandoned quarantine area fringe a warehouse level this kind of reminds me of um that one map in Ghost, I can't think of what it's called, with like the rail cars and shit in the warehouse. Havoc, mountains, hunted, like a nice little neighborhood. Again, no Jetsons crap. Infection, World War II battle scenario. Metro, just a futuristic train station. This is the only one that's somewhat futuristic, but there's just trains upside down. Like using you know rail cars on top instead of the bottom, it's like it's like riding a, um, one of those carrier things at an amusement park. Redwood, it's a forest. Stronghold, a snowy facility. 
Here, you know what? I'm going to be bold, and I'm going to take you guys to Metro, just to show you how not bad it is. This is the, the second most futuristic level in the game besides Nuketown. You have a campaign that plays like an RPG in a MOBA. You have a Zombies experience, and you have an amazing multiplayer experience. All three that come together to you know give you the ultimate in weapon customization and replayability. What more could you ask for in a Call of Duty? This is stuff that Call of Duty has never even done before. Well, like I said here, we're going to show you guys this this level real quick, so you know, just so you can see. Like this here in Nuketown is the most futuristic looking levels as it gets. This is it. Just this. And as you can see it ain't even that bad. Oh look here another new feature. Are you going to say this ain't realistic too? You can swim. And you can also shoot in the water. There's yeah, there's water battles now. I mean your damage and stuff is reduced in the water, of course, obviously. But over here, you got your little wall running spots. Wall running's honestly strictly for navigation. I don't even see a lot of battles take place running on the walls, honestly. And even at that, this place isn't it isn't too crazy, as you can see. You got the future police cars. You got your, I guess, your future tank. This is a normal ass van. I don't know why you got freaking a police car from the year 3025 and a van from 1995 over here, but whatever. <laughs> this is the inside. Looks like a shopping mall. These robots don't do anything but sit there. They're just modeled after the campaign. They're a type of armored machine you gotta fight in there. More bots. It's a futuristic train station. That's it. Let's take you somewhere else. So you can feel and see the black ops in this game. I'll take you guys to one more level and then we're just going to chat a little bit. Alright. Let's take. Because I don't think any of these even look questionable. So we'll take you to somewhere gritty. We'll go to Infection. This is probably my favorite map right now. This is that two building, like the state wannabe that I've been praying for in a Call of Duty game. Like, I always wanted Infinity Ward or even um, Sledgehammer with Advanced Warfare. I always wanted a state to bring it back. Like, the state is my favorite map in Call of Duty of all time. But, I don't know. I, I think it's because of a larger map. They'll probably never, never do that. But this is like my um, estate WMD-ish it ain't even really big, honestly. Like, you can do a 1v1 here easily. There's only one twist with this map. Just look up. It's a weird simulation. So there's, like, buildings on their sides and crap, but they don't affect you. You can't go in them crazily or anything like that. So the building's just sideways. I can stand on top of this. 
this this area mainly from this building to that building the fighting's going on here through here old World War two scenery and okay I'll be honest with you you have this because it's you know a combat simulation this this map is modeled after the last mission in the game when you play the last mission you'll understand why this map is here <laughs> you'll understand exactly what this is representing but got old World War two tanks stuff like that it's the point, the point I want to stress, guys, is the game is. I'm not going to say it's that exact classic COD we've been looking for because everyone's praying for like a Call of Duty 4 remake or, or World at War 2. It's not World at War 2. It's not Call of Duty 4. I'll be honest with you about that. But it is definitely that core Call of Duty with that bit of new flashiness that we've been asking for. There are the people you know back when you know things like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 and stuff like that, you know, were coming out and y'all were complaining it was the same game every year. You know? This is that that dream you wanted. That little bit of extra, that little bit of ingenuity, just to add a slight twist to it. That's what this game does. I would highly recommend if you're a fan of, of classic Call of Duty, buy it. You won't be disappointed. I haven't met anyone who's been disappointed yet. Like, even a few of my friends are strictly Battlefield fans. They haven't played Call of Duty since since Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. They haven't played one since me, and they never touched Black Ops 1. They like this. Because it is, legitly, a good game. I don't know how I can um, stress that enough. It's nothing like Advanced Warfare. It's um, there's nothing honestly bad or horrible about this game at all. I've, I've even had a hard time finding something I dislike about this game. If I had to be picky, the only thing I don't like is um, and that this is just me because I'm a big RPG guy. I like being able to customize my character 100%. The fact that we can't customize our character fully and make our own custom character in the campaign or make our own specialist in multiplayer annoys me. I don't like playing as some other character. I like making myself in a game. That's just me. I will give Advanced Warfare that one thing. The character customization was on point. But this is really good as well. Take a specialist, for example. Let me grab my boy room over here. Heads... And you unlock a lot more through supply drops, which are earned in-game currency, FYI, no microtransactions. Bodies, you know, just armor types and camos and stuff like that. You get to pick which weapon you want to showcase while you're standing on the battle floor. And you have taunts, you know, if you win the game and you're in first, second, or third place, whichever taunt you want to use and stuff like that. But all of these specialists are customizable. You got a firebreak over here. Oh, speaking of classic COD, if y'all want to be technical, the flamethrower's back. Everything is completely customizable to you. Like, now, it's not as customizable as Ghost or Advanced Warfare, I'll admit that. But they did a hell of a great job for what, you know for what they're offering. And I'm I'm more than proud to say that, that this is one of my favorite Call of Duties. And after a while it might become my favorite. I know you guys are probably aren't a fan of robots, you know, since you know you like classic COD, but he's one of the characters. You know? That's all I'm saying. Just going through everything, that's all. So it is. Look, chicks. Hey, girl gamers, you like girls? Ooh, hot Asian. Oh, yeah. Plenty of nice, sexy tactical outfits. Oh, want more girls? Is that Asian not enough? Oh, there you go. 
It would be the hardcore dykish but still cute chick. There you go. I don't mean to call her a dyke, but she seems more manly. I mean, it could be a good thing. She might just rock your socks in bed. Who knows? He's weird. I'm not going to lie. Prophet, like, I played him my first time playing anyone in the beta because I liked his ability, but he's freaking... This dude's weird. Like, I, I'll, I'll play the robot before I play this guy. Outrider. This is my favorite, and I don't care what anybody says. The actor who played her is cute as shit. Go through all these. And there's way more you can unlock through supply drops. And this is my boy right here. I'm having a hard time picking between him and Nomad because I don't know whether I want a hockey mask or a baseball cap. But, you know, character customization, everything's there for you guys. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, it's a great game now, and if you're a fan of classic Call of Duty or Call of Duty, period, I would think, you know, $60 would be the a really, a really smart investment this year. Because, um, put it, I'll put it like this. Infinity Ward has making up to do because of Ghost. What if they fail? Um, you can stick on Advanced Warfare, which if you really liked Advanced Warfare, you wouldn't be watching this video right now. So I doubt you want to do that. Or you can sit on a PC in your last-gen console and play COD 4 or Black Ops 1 for the rest of your life. I mean, your choice. Or you can step a bit out of your comfort zone, try something new and innovative that still replicas classic Call of Duty as probably the best one we've had for, I'm going to say, a good, good three or four years. Um, feel free to check this video out. Comment below. I'll definitely reply to comments and give suggestions and answer any questions about the game since I have played the campaign fully. I'm working on zombies. And I've done a decent amount of multiplayer and playing to be able to judge the game on a pretty high scale. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace, guys.